Hey, what's up everybody? Chris McCarthy, HiJRT.com, and this is your workout of the day. So today's workout has a rep scheme of 40, 30, 20, and 10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with double unders. We're gonna end up doing 40 double unders. If you can't do double unders, just do twice as many single jumps, so you'll end up doing 80 of those. Once your 40 double unders are over, then we're gonna move on and we're gonna do 40 Russian twists. Once those are complete, we're gonna go down and we're gonna do 40 V-ups. Now, we're gonna go back up to the top and we're gonna repeat that sequence, but this time, we're only gonna do 30. So, 30 of the double unders, 30 Russian twists, 30 V-ups. Once that's complete, back up to the top. Now we're down to 20, and then we're gonna do a final round of 10 of each of those exercises. So, that is the workout of the day. Let's go over all the moves. All right, guys, so today's workout has a rep scheme of 40, 30, 20, and 10 reps. It starts with the jump rope, so we're gonna end up doing 40 double unders. That's when the rope is passing underneath your feet twice for every jump. So you see I'm jumping a little bit higher off the ground and I'm rotating that rope just with my wrist a little bit faster so that it passes underneath my feet twice every time I jump. So in the first round, you're gonna do 40 of those. If you're unable to do double unders, you can go ahead and do just your basic single jump. Just do twice as many, so you're gonna end up doing 80 of just your basic single jump. Now, once you're done with those 40 double unders, we are then gonna set our ropes down, and we're gonna do Russian twists. So if you have a mat, you can bring that over, set that down here on the ground, and you can either use a dumbbell for these, or I'm actually gonna use a medicine ball that I have. So I'm gonna bring this down the side, we're gonna sit down on the ground, and what we wanna do is bring our feet out in front of us. Keeping your feet together, we're gonna to lean back about 45 degrees, we're gonna grab the sides of our weight, whether it's a dumbbell or a medicine ball, when that weight comes off the ground, we're going to lift it off the ground, we're going to bring our feet off the ground at the same time. Lean back, and we're going to start going from side to side with that weight, touching the ground every single time, keeping our feet in the air. We're going to end up doing 40 of these. Each side counts as one, so it'll be one, two, three, four. So basically, pick it up, feet come off the ground, and now I'm rotating side to side, lean back, really engaging that core, keeping my feet off the ground, and I'm touching that medicine ball or weight to the ground every single time. And it counts like this, one, two, three, four. So every time you touch the ground, that counts as one. And in the first round here, we're gonna end up doing 40 of those. Once those are complete, we're gonna move on to V-ups. So set your weights off to the side. And then you're gonna get back down here on the ground, feet out in front of you. And then we're gonna go all the way back, touching our back to the ground, keeping our hands up over our head. What we're gonna do is we're gonna V our body up in a V formation, and we're gonna keep our legs as straight as possible, really engaging that core, bring our hands up and try and touch our toes every single time. Then you're gonna go all the way back down, touch again, and keep using that, doing that V formation all the way up and down. So I'm gonna start back here. I'm gonna come all the way up, touch the toes if you can, come all the way up, and you're gonna end up doing 40 of these in the first round. If you need to go down and take a quick break, you can go ahead and do that, but really engage that core and try to touch those toes every single time. So you're gonna end up doing 40 of those in the first round. Once you've completed that, you're gonna go back up to the top, you're gonna grab your jump ropes again, but this time instead of doing the 40 double unders, you're gonna end up doing just 30. Then you're gonna do 30 Russian twists, then you're gonna do 30 V-ups, and you're gonna continue down that rep sequence of 40, 30, 20, 10, until you're on that final round of 10 double unders, 10 Russian twists, 10 V-ups, and then the workout is complete. So, that is the workout of the day. Hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, please give me a thumbs up here on YouTube. Also, check out highjrt.com for even more workouts and trainer tips. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you in the next workout.